Well, we're going to start today using the same fake sermon that we created in our previous instructional video. You can see it here on screen. And you'll notice that beside the column of slides, there is a blank column. And you may be wondering what that's for. Well, the answer is, it's for a second language. As you may know from the first video that I made, uh, I live and work in Wales, and I often have a need for a bilingual sermon so that I can cater to both the English-speaking and the Welsh-speaking members of my congregation. So here's how you would go about turning that sermon, that little mini-sermon that we created, into a Welsh-language presentation. And we'll start off by opening up the slide for editing, and then we click up here on where it says Language tab. Now you can switch between the language tabs using the Alt plus left and right uh, arrow keys, uh, or you can just click on the tab. Now we start off by manually entering the title splash, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why in a moment. So backslash space and then five equals marks, one, two, three, four, five, space and again the word splash, space, hyphen, splace, and then the word Welsh followed by space and one, two, three, four, five equals marks. Now what that does is tell the program that this column is for the Welsh language. So everything in that column will appear in Welsh. Let me demonstrate to you. We'll insert the splash tag. Whoops. There we go. And it comes up in the Welsh language. We'll put in a few details. Capel Horeb. There's a good... Welsh name, and for the sermon title, we'll have Achaduri Aith Tru E Fith. Let's hope that I spelt that correctly. There we go. And of course, as I said, you can switch between the two tabs as much as you like. All right. Now, to move down to the next slide, of course, we could press uh, um, Finish, but it's easier if you just use Control and Down Arrow. You've got to make sure that the focus is in the main uh, editing window, not in the, uh, the, the text editing window. So there we go. And this time we will enter the tag for Scripture Reading. And there it is in Welsh, and we'll put in the uh, reference which was John 14, 1, 2, 3. Okay, now we move down to the actual scripture reading, and we'll use the same um, preset, but we will change the name of the picture to that of the Welsh background that I created. Um, it, ah, it just makes it look a bit nicer to have the, the Welsh Bible, the new Welsh Bible. And then we'll put in the reference. Now, you may remember that the reference for the first passage was the first two verses from John 14. So, John 14, 1, 2, which is a little bit annoying. Here, if we click on Function, and you can see that it's come up in the Welsh language, we'll put in a title... Believe in God, credo new, but the reference is entered in English. Now, that is because I'm in <laughs> my first language is English. My mother tongue is English. I, I know all the books of the Bible in English. I'm not so clear on them in well, actually, I, I do know them all by now in Welsh, but in some of the other languages like Bulgarian or Romanian or something else, no, I, I, I don't know them. So it's more convenient for me to enter the languages in English, the, the Bible references in English, and let the program deal with uh, converting them into the, uh, the, the Welsh equivalent. Now, I'll show you how the program does that in a moment, but if your first language is Welsh or Swahili or something, you may find this uh, annoying because you don't know the, the books of the Bible in, in, in English. 
Well, there's two things you could do. The first is to contact me with the problem, and I I'm sure that it wouldn't be too difficult to alter the program so that it, uh, it did accept Swahili as the first uh, language. But uh, I do provide the source code for the program with the program. It's written in BBC Basic, which is a very simple language to learn. And there's nothing to stop you altering the program to, to suit yourself. Or if you're a clever clogs, even improve on the program. If you do, do let me have a copy. I'm always open to, to improvement. Okay, so let's go on to the next slide. And here we'll do something a little bit different, just to make it a bit easier with entering that um, end of reading marker. Down here on the bottom right of the editing pane, you have the word copy. And beside it, there is a right pointing arrow. We'll click on that. And what that does is it copies the definition in, of the slide on the left over into the slide on the right. There is a provision for doing it the other way round. So we'll leave the Bible reference where it is. We'll delete the English verse. We'll alter the title to... Um, and then click on function and there it is oh and we'll also need to change the uh, the title background the, the the reading background slide so there we have it in the welsh language all right let's go down again this is the children's story we insert the tag the children's story and again it comes up in Welsh we go down that indicates that the focus was not in the main window here it is now and we're now up to the sermon so we'll insert that and it, it comes up in Welsh obviously we need to enter the title There we go. And we move down to the next picture. Now, again, we'll use that copy facility. There is no point in having the private uh, notes because they just have no meaning in the second language section. But we will change these notes to uh, translate it into Welsh. Now, <laughs> I wish that uh, the program was clever enough to do all the translating on its own. It's not. Uh, when you enter that uh, in the splash screen that it's Welsh, it doesn't translate anything. What it does is, in the main program directory, you have a another folder called Bible Books. And if you open that up, down the bottom you can see you have Welsh Bible Books and you have Welsh Order, that's Order of Service. And if we open up the order of service, you can see that there you have the slide definitions for all the tags, and I have translated them into Welsh. If you want them in Swahili, you'll have to translate them into Swahili or, or Spanish or, or whatever language you want, and then it will come up when you uh, enter the correct uh, call in, in those languages. So let's move that back out of the way. So here we go, putting the notes into uh, Welsh, down to the next slide again we'll just copy it across I won't bother changing the notes it takes up time we'll come down to the Bible reference copy it across delete the um, the Welsh the English language verse put in a Welsh one change the title to Cariad Du justify and there we go all right and that brings us to the last slide, which is the benediction, another tag, and there it is. So there you have everything. The whole sermon has been translated into Welsh very rapidly and I, I think very easily. But we're still left with those Bible verses in um, 
in English. How do we get rid of them? Well, we go to Tools, Replace Foreign Books. Click on that. That opens up a little pane. And over here, again, remember in that Bible Books folder, you have Welsh Bible Books. So it replaces all the references in English. Replacing is complete, and that's done it. So let's have a look at our finished version. Here, obviously, we have the English, but we can bring up the Welsh. There you have the Welsh splash screen, the Welsh uh, the scripture reading, and you'll notice that the Bible reference has been changed to Johan instead of John. The uh, sermon, and we would want to have the notes in Welsh. Okay, that's easily arranged. And there it is. So to add a second language to your sermon is very easy, very simple, uh, provided you, you know the language. If you don't, then of course you'll have to get someone else to do it for you. There is a facility to using tools to have a third language, three languages. Unfortunately, most laptops don't have the ability to, to use three screens. So that's why the default is two. If you have a desktop computer in your church, you can use a third language, provided you have the necessary equipment to, to project it. So there we go. God bless if you're using a second language.